here's the Nernst equation. Oh, well, we just got that Nernst equation in our excitement to apply this. Here's the Nernst equation. There it is. It just comes from what we derived before, only now substituting what G is, the other, uh, another manifestation of G, electro cell, uh, um, cell potential. And so Nernst equation gives you a method to measure ion concentration activities in solution. So what you separate is the oxidation reduction reactions with ion specific electrons. If you know one half reaction, you can measure the other. All right, so just remember, let's just write the Nernst equation here in terms of E is equal to E0 minus RT over NF times the natural log of the product of the activities of the products divided by the product of the activity of the reactants. So you can measure activity when you do electrochemistry you're actually not just measuring concentrations but you're strictly measuring activities. Activities can be translated into concentrations uh, assuming activity coefficients are one, you have ideal uh, fugacity coefficients are one and so on. So you can go directly to concentrations. But strictly speaking, you're measuring X. So let's look at this. Separate oxidation reduction reactions. We'll talk about ion-specific membranes in the next section, which we talk about the membrane potential. But just let's go ahead and do it here. So suppose you have, and here this should be familiar to you from introductory chemistry. Here we have the infamous salt bridge. Here we have a solution say make this some concentration, oh, let's use copper for example, uh, make this copper say at a known concentration of copper, say A molar copper 2 plus and here we don't know what the copper concentration is copper 2 plus and here we're going to have a voltmeter and these then are specific or these are electrodes here and we'll make these solid copper electrodes. Let's write the Nernst equation for this. We'll measure a particular cell voltage. Cell voltage will be E. That will be the standard state cell voltage minus RT over NF times the natural log of the activity of copper. Let's do the side 1 and side 2. A copper in side 1 times the activity of copper 2 plus inside 1 divided by the activity of copper inside 2 times the activity of copper in 2 plus inside 2. Now what would be E cell, E0 for this particular electrochemical cell? Well that means that everything over here is a standard state, everything here is a standard state, so that means, oh look, standard state, standard state, there'd be no gradient in potential, so the cell voltage will be zero for this particular uh, cell. Uh, let's look at the activity of solid copper. That goes to one. The activity of solid copper goes to one. That's a pure condensed phase. Activity is one, we define that. So the cell is minus RT over NF times the activity of copper inside 1 divided by the activity of copper inside 2. If you know the activity of copper in one side, you can figure out by measuring the cell voltage, figure out what the activity is on the other side. So electrochemistry measures activities and well you say, okay I'm going to uh, make everything ideal and uh, have my standard state molar and so on, uh, so this would be approximately equal to minus RT over NF times the natural log of copper 2 plus in a side 1 over copper 2 plus in side 2. This is called a concentration cell. If you know the concentration of copper in one side, make uh, various approximations to activity coefficients and so on, you can, by measuring cell voltage, calculate the concentration of copper on the other side. You know E, you know minus RT over NF, you know one of these so you can just solve for the other. And so you can measure concentrations or actually measure activities which can be related to concentrations if you know activity coefficients. And here we made the change to molar for a standard state.